Hi guys, uh, this is Transam Times 2. Um, this is my 05 Expedition. And I'm going to try some different wheel cleaners. Let's see how much of this brake dust and, and dirt and everything we can clean off of here. I'm going to take the rims off and actually wash them inside and out and put some wheel protectant on them so they stay clean. Um, I've got Car Guys Premium Wheel Cleaner. I've got Chemical Guys Wheel and Rim Cleaner Premium Blue Heavy Duty. And I had some Black Magic Aluminum Wheel Cleaner laying around. So I'll do one wheel in the Car Guys, one wheel in Chemical Guys, one wheel in Black Magic. And then just for a baseline comparison, I'll wash one with Dawn. And while I'm at it, I'll compare some brushes. I got a uh, Chemical Guys um, body and wheel flange tip short handle car care brush. And I got the legendary Speedmaster wheel brush. So after I get the wheels all off, I'll uh, set them all up, mark them, and treat each one of them separately and see how they come out. Okay, so we got our four rims, we got our four products. Um, I just put them in alphabetical order, easy to keep track of. Uh, we've got Black Magic, Car Guys, Chemical Guys, and then Dawn. Um, Black Magic wants to be put on dry rims. Uh, the other two um, say you can wet them if you want. Um, so I'm going to put them all on dry, and I'm going to go ahead and agitate them all, and uh, see what we get. Uh, the Car Guys recommends three to five minutes. Yeah, three to five minutes after you um, spray it on to hose it off. Black Magic says two to three minutes. And uh, the Chemical Guys doesn't specify, but I figure I'll give it the same basic amount of time. So I'll start with Car Guys because that takes the longest. Obviously the car guys and the chemical guys are the two that are most interesting. Kind of about what I expected. The uh, the Dawn took off a little bit, but not a whole lot. The uh, Car Guys and Chemical Guys both seem to do a pretty decent job of getting at least the first heavy layer and then some off. And I think Black Magic actually got beat out by Dawn. <laughs> so, uh, not really sure what to think of that, but I'll. Uh, I'll give them all another dosage, and uh, I'll scrub them all again, and uh, see if we can't improve on the uh, finish here. Guys. 
It does seem like it's pulling up more. This brush seems to work fine. Um, but for scrubbing down in the real tough spots, might be better off with something like a kitchen scouring pad. to dry a little bit. Seems like it's baked on stuff. It might come off better with a, something a little bit stronger than the soft bristle brush. Soft bristle brush is uh, It does look like the brush comes cleaner after the chemical guys. And again, this probably isn't typical for most people's limbs and tires. It's probably a little bit excessive. Um, I know my wife's. Mini Cooper had a lot of bad brake on, built on brake dust. My Trans Am was getting bad, but I don't think either of as bad as this. Really thin clean, but I don't think there's a product out there that'll really be able to spray on and have all the brake dust and road grime fall off without damaging your rims. Uh, some people are really picky about how the cleaners smell. Um, I don't think any of these really smell too bad. I mean, the, the car guys has a very neutral smell, in my opinion. Chemical guys, well, kind of similar. It's, it's not, it's not like an offensive, strong chemical smell or anything. Um, honestly, I think the Black Magic probably smells the worst out of the three. But I think you could use any one of these in an enclosed garage without gagging from fumes or anything. This uh, seems to be doing more of the same. The scouring pad definitely seems to be helping it pull up more. And again, I'd say it's neck and neck between car guys and chemical guys here. It's loosening it up, coming off. You're definitely still going to have to put some elbow grease in it, into it if it's as bad as my rims are. Alright, camera out and get you a better close up here. Here's the black magic. Didn't do much at all. Got the might have gotten the first layer of brake dust off just by pressure washing it and scrubbing it. Here's your car guys. Obviously, there's still a bit of dirt there, but dirt there, but it's ten times better than what it was. Chemical guys, this is not diluted. It says you can dilute it, so this is full strength. Um, 
Again, it looks looks pretty comparable to the car, guys. Um, I think, you know, side by side there, it's tough to pick out a clear winner or loser there. Uh, I'll get a few more passes with the scrub brush. And here's Dawn, just as a, a baseline comparison, just so you know what to expect if you are doing nothing but washing it with dish soap. And realistically, it, it did fine for what it is. It's not designed to be a brake dust cleaner. So I think we'll put the Dawn away, and we'll put the Black Magic away because honestly, I don't see any point continuing with those two. So I'll uh, I'll spray these two rims with the Car Guys, and I'll spray these two with the Chemical Guys, and finish them up and see just how clean I can get the back side of them before we focus on the front. This is what I was talking about with the, uh, the black magic. Just seems like it left a, a film on the sponge. You go to wring it out and it sticks to my hand. And it's not like uh, old oil. It's just sticking to everything. I don't understand how that's really cleaning up. Now this is the same scrub brush after doing two wheels with the chemical guys. You can see the brake dust just pour out of it, but it's not sticking to anything. It's broken it down into water almost. So as soon as I spray it with the hose, it's just going to come washing right off. And here's the same sponge used with the chemical guys. Same thing. You know, foamed up. As soon as I hit it with water, it's going to come rinsing right off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off. Uh... All right. Okay, again. These two have both been hit with uh, the car guys. Uh, this is one dose for the outer rim. This is the third pass for the inner rim. And you know it's still got a a bit of grime and brake dust on it, but a lot better than it was. These are the two uh, the chemical guys now. And the inside one has had about two doses on it. The outside one. This is its first pass, and to be honest, I uh, I could uh, flip a coin and tell you which one came out better. I I think they're pretty darn neck and neck right now. Uh, it does seem like the chemical guys is a little more concentrated. I put I believe a little bit less on than the car guys, and it seems to foam up a bit and lift the dirt off when you uh, scrub it. Uh, um, but besides that, I think they're seem to both be pretty good products. I'm going to turn the camera off and probably do another few passes on each. And Okay guys, so I'm um, all done with the rims. They're back on the truck. And they look pretty darn good. Obviously the uh, fronts of them, outside of them were a lot easier to clean than the inside. See the rims weren't perfect to begin with, but you know, they look a hundred times better than they did. Uh, hopefully I have a good close up shot of the front of these before I clean them so I can get a side-by-side -side comparison. These are fabulous looking compared to what they were. Um, now as far as the scrub brushes and everything's that I, everything that I used, um, I had an old uh, kitchen dish scrubber 
that actually worked really well to get in the nooks and crannies without having to uh, have my hand all the way down in there banging around busting my knuckles the uh, little I believe it was a chemical guys brush worked well at this uh, just wiping off large surface areas but um, it, it wasn't really going to scrub much. This, this has firmer bristles and was able to get more of the, break more of the grime up. This is much softer and, uh, you know, it was good at wiping off large surface areas, but wasn't really agitating a whole lot. Um, the kitchen scouring pad, I'd probably use more than anything else because it had so much built up brake dust on it. Uh, this actually worked really well for the I don't know, 50 cents or a dollar it cost to buy one. And then the Speedmaster brush, honestly it, it really didn't, I really didn't use it on these rims because it doesn't work real well on these big openings. Now on the flip side on my Trans Am, this works great at getting in these spots like this. Usually I'd have to take an old toothbrush or something and try to get down in all these little nooks and crannies and it still wouldn't come very clean. This works a lot better for the smaller spoked wheels, smaller openings. So that's it for this one. Um, as far as the products go, I think I summed it up uh, earlier, but the uh, chemical guys and car guys both did pretty much neck and neck the same. The only real difference that I noted was the chemical guys seem to spread, uh, go, go a lot further per spray, and it's cheaper per ounce. So I'd have to give the win to chemical guys if I buy it, if I have to uh, buy more. I'll go, with, I'll go with chemical guys next time unless something else comes up. Till next time. Thanks. Like it.